Ross Taylor, one of the greats of New Zealand cricket took retirement in December last year from international circuit. He scored 1909 runs in 109 matches with seven half centuries. In a special conversation with NNIS Sports, former Kiwi all-rounder Corey Anderson said Taylor unquestionably is one of the country's greatest players and New Zealand will miss his service at the upcoming T20 World Cup. Yeah, I think when you lose someone of his, you know, his class, um, his experience, um, if you take that out of any team, that's going to make a massive hole. Um, I know they've got a lot of, a lot of guys that have kind of been, I guess, blooding over the last year or two. Um, so it, it's it's probably a slightly easier transition. Um, but Ross has got so much experience. Um, he's played in all parts of the world against all bowlers who have, you know, gone before and retired now as well. Um, so yeah, he's he's a massive massive player to lose, um, but again, I, I think because he's probably hasn't been floating around in all of the formats as of late. Um, I, I think they've they've found guys who can try and transition into that role. Um, they're probably still searching for it, and that's 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 always the issue when you lose someone or, or someone um, you know retires like a Ross Taylor. You're always trying to find that next Ross Taylor, and that can be really difficult because. There's, there's not going to be another Ross Taylor. Um, so you've got to find someone who can make it their own um, and, and try and, I guess, skin the cat a little bit differently um, and, and hopefully win some games for New Zealand. Um, he's one of them. Um, I think when you get to a World Cup, if you you can't really rely on uh, one or two guys, I think if that's the case, then, um, you know, you're putting a lot into the hands of only one or two guys. So I think you've got to... You got to make sure the rest of your team's all sorted, but I think he plays a big part in it. Yeah, he's he's obviously one of the all-rounders in that team. Um, he probably needs to get given the ball a little bit more. I think he's the kind of guy that thrives on being involved in the game, um, and I think it helps his bowling, helps his batting too. Um, he's he's a batter predominantly, but um, I think if you give him the ball and and trust him in some big situations, he he can come through with them, and I think it does wonders for him. So if he gets something like that early in the World Cup. Um, he'll be he'll be a dangerous player to watch. I think he's got got a lot on him. And so last year, what moment do I cherish the most? Um, I mean, debuting is obviously when you make your debut for your country. That's obviously one of the biggest ones. Um, it's the the start, ideally, when you're at that position of something big. Um, playing in a World Cup um, with New Zealand, playing in a World Cup final, unfortunately losing it. Uh, but that that's probably one of my, you know, fondest memories. Um, even though it was, you know something that I wish went the other way, uh, being involved in that kind of game and just being involved in a World Cup on such a massive platform um, is one of those things I think when time goes on, um, you know, holds a massive place in my heart, yeah. And you would have to um, Yeah, that was obviously a, a ridiculous game. Um, I, I know we were probably sitting there thinking that we were out of the comp. Um, we had to obviously chase 190 or 180 something um, so we were thinking if we get them early and they don't get too many runs we've got a chance and as soon as they got that I think a few boys heads went down and thought this is probably it um, but again chasing a total like that um, yeah I, I ended up being the one who I, I guess got a decent amount of runs but if you look at the rest of that scorecard there was guys who chipped in with massive innings Mike Hussey came in and got 30, I think, off not many, and Buddy Ryder did the same thing. Obviously, Aditya Tade hit runs at the end um, to win the game. Um, so it takes more than just a couple of players. It takes it does take a team to get to that point. So, um, yeah, that was an incredible game. Um, and, again, one of those ones where you look back and you kind of... It's the one that always gets talked about, um, I guess, in my career as well. So, um, yeah, I look back fondly at that, and it's, it was an exciting game. And... Uh... Uh, best bowler I've faced, I, I guess during my career, Dale Stain was probably one of the best ones. Um, again, he's just um, an unbelievable bowler. Um, so he was always managed to put the fear into people. Um, so I'm, I'm glad he's not playing <laughs> anymore. I'm sure he'd probably show out for Legends League at some point. Um, so that would be cool to, I guess, either play with them or against them at some, some stage. Um, and a batter, I mean, someone like a Chris Gale was always just destructive. The guys who can find the boundary um, at will uh, are always difficult to bowl to. Um, and then you get other guys like even Joss Butler and stuff now who are 
becoming just so destructive it's really hard to find a, an area to bowl to them um, it's basically up to them where they want to try and hit you and you've just got to try and limit the damage so um, yeah someone like a Chris Gale was always extremely intimidating to, face, uh, to, to bowl against Malcolm.